Basically, I'm for anything that gets you through the night, be it prayer, tranquilizers or a bottle of Jack Daniels. Alcohol may be man's worst enemy, but the Bible says love your enemy. I would like to be remembered as a man who had a wonderful time living life, a man who had good friends, fine family, and I don't think I could ask for anything more than that, actually. I feel sorry for people that don't drink, because when they wake up in the morning, that is the best they are going to feel all day. For nobody else, gave me thrill with all your faults, I love you still. It had to be you, wonderful you, it had to be you. You only go around once, but if you play your cards right, once is enough. When lip service to some mysterious deity permits bestiality on Wednesday and absolution on Sunday, cash me out. That's life, and I can't deny it slash many times I thought of cutting out but my heart won't buy it. I feel sorry for people who don't drink. When they wake up in the morning, that's as good as they're going to feel all day. Fairy tales can come true it can happen to you if you're young at heart. If you possess something but you can't give it away, then you don't possess it, it possesses you. I feel bad for people who don't drink. When they wake up in the morning, that's as good as they're going to feel all day. For what is a man? What has he got? If not himself then he is not not to say the things that he truly feels and not the words of someone who kneels let the record show I took all the blows and did it my way. While accepting the Gene Hirschholt Humanitarian Award, I've been thinking about why you have to get famous to get an award for helping other people. If your name is John Doe, and you work night and day doing things for your helpless neighbors, what you get for your effort is tired. So, Mr. and Mrs. Doe, and all of you who give of yourselves, to those who carry too big a burden to make it on their own, I want you to reach out and take your share of this stock because if I have earned it, so too have you. There are things about organized religion which I resent. Christ is revered as the Prince of Peace, but more blood has been shed in his name than any other figure in history. You show me one step forward in the name of religion, and I'll show you a hundred retrogressions, I'm for decency, period. I'm for anything and everything that bodes love and consideration for my fellow man. But when lip service to some mysterious deity permits bestiality on Wednesday and absolution on Sunday, count me out. If these things are what you mean by God, then I believe in God. But I don't believe in a personal God to whom I look for comfort or for a natural on the next roll of the dice.